Welcome back, Woodlovers. It's Tommy Stonewoods. It's a brand new week and it's a brand new wood for me here at the workshop. We are looking at Platamiscium dimorphandrum grenadilla. This comes from our friends at Stumac and uh, it's a wood that I've been wanting to get hold of for quite some time now and so I'm very grateful that they have sent this set to me. It's very cool. And I didn't realize that uh, grenadier is a, is kind of a, an umbrella blanket term for many of the species within the Platamiscium genus, which is kind of, uh, has its kind of growing regions in tropical America from kind of Mexico through Central America into Northern Southern America. I realized that I used this wood before, come across this wood before, but known it as Ormigo. When I was doing my apprenticeship with Irvin, quite often he would go off on, on visits, uh, wood safaris to uh, Macbeth Hardwoods in Berkeley and come back with all sorts of timbers kind of laden high on his Volkswagen, uh, Volkswagen? Volkswagen Golf. Um, and I remember this one particular time he came back with uh, a wood that he was very excited about um, for its rosewood-like qualities and that was something we, we, we knew to be what was, was referred to as Ormigo. But I, think, I seem to remember at the time we didn't know what genus it was from, we just knew it as Ormigo. I think it also is known as Macacauba in, in, in South America. Grenadillo is also, can also sometimes be known as Mexican uh, rosewood. Uh, I guess for its similarities to Cocobolo, which is also referred to as Mexican rosewood. But Grandio is kind of um, like Cocobolo without all the irritants, allergens, and, uh, and gluing nightmares resulting from all the internal oils, at least I'm told. So I actually did a little shout out on Instagram uh, earlier to, uh, for some kind of pointers on, on Grandio, if anyone had any experience of working with it. And... Erpa Guitars um, out in Turkey very kindly reached out and they said it has an extremely brilliant and powerful sound. The bass and treble uh, are really nicely balanced and both can be colourful. Harmonics are stunning when the back and top are well paired. It can be quite hard to achieve the right thickness and not to, achieve, and not to get a metallic sound. Uh, it's one of our favourite back and sides for classical and flamenco. But for a warm and round sound, you need to select the right soundboard um, and thickness appropriately. It can be also used for a bridge uh, and uh, is very similar to African blackwood. It's also close to Brazilian rosewood, but maybe a little bit more crispy. So there you go. That comes from Erpa Guitars in Turkey. Thank you for that. So let's give it a little, little tap, shall we? Now, I've been getting some heat uh, below the line for how I hold the, the wood when I'm doing my tap testing. I don't really give a f uh, If it's good enough for uh, Dana Bourgeois and Evan Samoji, it's good enough for me. So let's give it a listen, shall we? Yeah. Very rosary. I would say it's... Reminds me more of African Blackwood than Cocobolo. Wow, getting some almost like false harmonics there, that's cool. Yeah. Grenadillo is, uh, you're starting to see it a lot more in factory built instruments. Martin and Gibson have started to use it quite a bit. And yeah, it's easy to see why. Lovely. Now, where is the magic spray? It's quite dense. You know what? Let's see how. Let's just uh, have a quick look here, and see where we're at on the uh, on the Janker scale. Okay, so um, this is this is actually for Macacauba. Dimorphandra. Okay, dim. This is from the wood database. Um, 
and so I think the best estimate we can be set, we can be looking at is 2,700 pounds force. So not as as hard as I thought it might be. What is the, uh, the density there? Specific gravity of 0.95, so pretty dense. Anyway, let's give it a little. Let's give it a little of a magic spray. That's lovely. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of auburn, burnt orange running through there, rust red. Really nice addition of some sap as well. I really love the, the kind of wavy figure that's going through that. Nice bit of chatoyance. Yeah, lovely. I'm gonna give it the full beans, because it's Monday. Everyone needs the full beans on a Monday. I know I certainly needed extra beans this morning. I've lost my book match, but who cares? Not me. There you go, Grenadier. Platymiscium dimorphandrum. From our good friends at Stumac. This is really cool. I'm excited to build with it. Very rosewoody. Super ringy. All right. Cool. So, so concludes today's episode. Thank you to everybody who is liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let's please remember to keep it civilized, shall we? Um, all for constructive feedback, constructive criticism, but let's keep it civilized. We're all friends here. See you tomorrow.